Welcome back, everybody, to episode 26 of the Fibromancers Knitting Podcast. I am your host, Megan, coming at you from Western Massachusetts. If you're new here, hello, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, did you get yourself some Stay Spooky merch? Because it's, it's fabulous. If you're a new viewer, too, get yourself some of my uh, Stay Spooky stuff. That being said, um... <sighs> Where do we start? Because it's been two weeks yet again. I swear this isn't a bi weekly podcast. I said I was going to post more, and the universe has thrown every single curveball you could possibly imagine at me. First, it was my back, and then my back got better, and then I hurt my back again because apparently you can get off the floor wrong. Did not know that, okay? That's never happened before. And then there was the whole thing with Love's heart last Friday. It wasn't actually his heart. So when I say the, th the thing with his heart, we thought it was his heart. It turns out, which we also did not know was a thing. It was an air pocket in between the muscle and the rib cage. I guess this is super common with weightlifters and people who do manual labor, which he's done. But he has some, um, some family history with... Some heart things so we kind of uh yeah that was not a fun day last week eh, at all but turns out he's totally fine and he just had to rest it sorry if I keep touching my hair you don't I do not like it being right in the corner of my face so give me a second all right I have no idea what projects I talked about two weeks ago uh, in between then and when you last saw me I had to go get fabric for where is it Normally it's like right here. The fabric that I bought is to make a dress for my sister's wedding. That is at the end of May. Uh, I got some stuff to make other dresses because I have a shower to go to. I uh, didn't go to the other shower. There's just a lot of events that go on with said wedding that I wanted to make dresses because I literally started crying because I couldn't. <laughs> this is such a, this is literally, this is, sorry, I'm going to say literally. This is like, with everything that's going on, not to mention everything that went on over last weekend after the heart thing, which I won't even get into, but I hope if you celebrated something last weekend that it, you had a lovely weekend, unlike me. Um, on top of, so what I, what I was saying was I couldn't find, I had a vision of a silhouette, like what I wanted, and I couldn't find it. And it's super frustrating when I know exactly what I want and I really didn't want to have to make it because there's lots of other things I want to do. So where is that bag? I want to show the fabric for the dress. <sighs> okay, I found it. Uh, there was a story post where I showed stuff. I want to make a couple silky mock dresses. If you guys are familiar with the silky dresses, you should be by now. They're everywhere. This is the fabric I bought to make my dress for the actual thing I think oh yeah I'm wearing leggings guys I only half got dressed stay spooky it is this like satin embroidered it's like curtain fabric but it's really thin and it's this lovely my ring light is not making it look nice hold on is that more accurate I guess it's fairly accurate it's just in the light with these beautiful purpley mauve embroidered flowers on it um my goal is to sorry I was gargoyling if um you guys know what I do I like crouch like a gargoyle in my chairs I'm going to Frankenstein some patterns together for that I can only do so many dresses with puff sleeves I am super 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 oh, sorry my arms are resting on my legs that's the top of my knee, if you guys were curious how I'm sitting. Um, I, I keep doing dresses with puff sleeves. If you saw the dress I bought off Amazon, that also has puff sleeves. So there's only so many dresses I can make with puff sleeves. So I think that's going to be a fitted corset style top. Bodice. Corset bodice. Yeah, that would be the words. Corset fitted bo Fitted corseted bodice. There we go. Now that I've uh, got that out of the way, let's talk about 
projects because I have no idea. None. What I showed off, what I didn't. I can show you what I was working on when my back was hurt because I couldn't really move. If you guys have been here a while, you will know that when I went to Salem for our anniversary, I picked up a uh, cross stitching pattern that I said I was going to give to Lev, but almost done with it. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't turn out backwards. I have no idea if you're going to see this backwards or not. But, yeah. It says Salem. And, uh, yeah. It's not backwards in person. I hope this isn't backwards. It looks backwards here, so I don't know if it's going to look backwards to you guys or not. Oh, well. I feel like everything else I've shown isn't shown up backwards. I don't know. I'm almost done with that. It just needs a couple flowers. Obviously this leaf motif needs to be finished and then there's like three or four flowers and that will go into my secret project room. That's one of my secret projects that I've been working on. Then what did I fin I finished something. Where is it? I've there it is. I finished my ranunculus sweater. Cannot tell you what the name of this yarn is. I completely forgot. And I don't think I have the notes for it anymore, but I think this is the third size, which I haven't taken pictures of it. It just looks like a gray blob, guys. It's a marled gray, obviously, marled gray. There is all of the motif in the top of the ranunculus. Long sleeves with the, what is it? It doesn't have the um, angled cuff option whatever that is, whatever that means. But yeah, I've been wearing that nonstop because it's super cozy and it's super practical and that's exactly what I wanted to do with it. Just make something super cozy, super practical. Boop. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else. I had to rip out my Goblin Market test knit socks. Me and that yarn were just not getting along. So that got harvested into something else. Oh, this is the other big project I was working on. But I'll finish, uh, I'll show this off. This is what I ended up harvesting that. Uh, it's the Farmer's Daughters Fiber 2022 Sock Squad for February, which was originally my Goblin Market sock. It's now just a textured stripe sock because it did not like the lace and cable motif that it was being for the goblin market and I sat and I worked on this for one day after I realized that I was going to force myself to have to work on it or just start over and actually love it so I started over and this yarn and I are getting along much better with this pattern I don't know if you guys like feel that way about certain things. I, I, I'm a strong believer in if you call, if it calls or if it doesn't, if you're not loving it, then just get rid of it. Like don't, it will tell you what it needs to be. So this yarn is by Yarn Cafe Creation. I can't remember what base it's in. One of the fingering weight bases, I think she only has one now in the apple dumpling colorway. And let me just tell you, me and these these speckles and the baubles and everything, sorry, my lighting's making it, are getting along so well. I only worked on this for about two hours, so this weekend I will definitely be, they, they need to be done by next weekend, so I will definitely be finishing this one sock this weekend. That's on my top of my list because obvious the test knits take priority, but that yarn, it's very squishy and plush, and it's just vibing better with me. Even though the, these colors were a lot more goblin-y, it just, it's a thinner, it's got a higher twist to it. So it just didn't, it didn't like what it was being. And I couldn't, as much as I kept forcing it, it was, it was nearly done. And I just, I wouldn't, once I got done with that, I realized that, so I had probably half of a foot left to do. 
and I realized once I finished that I would never go back to make the second sock I was not loving the yarn love the pattern but the yarn just made it so I I wasn't liking it and obviously that had to change so I can I want to finish pair I don't want to make half a sock because what's the point of that none there's no point but the other large object that i was working on is if you've a long time viewer you will know that last year i started i'm trying to remember what the name of it was campside cardi in this in this in this how many times can i say that in the chameleon yarn because this was super cool last year and let me tell you because i know a lot of people had a problem with the smell it still smells it's been sitting in my bag it still has that weird scent. If you guys know what I'm talking about, or if you had it, it still has that weird scent. I, I don't know. But I'm almost done with a second sleeve. I finished one sleeve, which means it's just got a button band left to do. And I want to use this as a bathing suit cover-up because I got... I, I needed a new bathing suit, so I bought one of the Stony Clover Target bathing suits, which is super cute and pastel. Let's see. This is... It's really blown out because it's white. Actually, that's oof, that actually might be done. Time for the second cuff. Yeah, that's totally. I just need to do the cuff on this sleeve. I think. Yeah, one hundred percent. So the back has these cool different. Oof, it makes me dizzy to pull it up and down because I'm trying to look through it. Um, different variations of eyelets. And yeah, the next step would be the button band. And I can, oh, there's my, I've been looking for him. This is my tape measure. It's my favorite. But, yeah, this is, I could finish that up too. I was just trying to get sh 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 stuff. I'm just going to swear. Wow. That's, that's, that was very hard to force out not swearing. Uh, now I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to finish up projects that are just sitting and just, you know, working through stash repetitively. Which I've said before, but if you're new here, you'll have no idea. That's what I'm doing. Is there anything else over here that I need to show you guys that I was working on? Oh, this is the... There was like three sweaters I was working on, which this... I showed off. Oh... You guys should know that I don't like this yarn because it just like falls apart. I'm in the body of this, of the fluffy, sparkly, pink sweater. Two and a half inches into the body. Don't fall off. Does anybody else like to use like the smallest circumference needles that they possibly can until they absolutely cannot do it and then switch back? Because that's, that's exactly what I did for the body again. You pick, is it picking up the sparkles in there? Oh yeah, there is that. And I, uh, I love it. This is the Cozy Classic Light by Jessie Mae Designs, which I've talked about before. Um, this is, I love this sweater pattern. I have it in both this and then the Worsted DK. I think it's just a DK version. And honestly, I've done so many different variations of that sweater that I it, it's perfect um, I'm trying to think the striped sweater which is over on my Instagram is that I've got a couple solid ones I've done the short sleeve I've done the long sleeve it just is everything I think that's all I've worked on I haven't touched anything else this in the last two weeks because there's been a lot going on I say as I show off a couple different projects it's just it's a lot I don't know what it is the universe I, I'm serious the universe really is coming coming down hard I don't know what's what's going on I don't know but we can talk a little bit more about this the stay spooky shirt I hope it doesn't turn out backwards there's pictures of this over on my Instagram so if you're not following me Make sure you're following me over there because I didn't say this in the beginning, but that's where I'm going to update you guys if I'm missing from YouTube. Uh, it's where I'm more active. Uh, yeah, 
you can see this love has the ringer shirt this is the women's cropped shirt Boop. Ooh, I almost fell over there delayed thought there and uh, I got a medium of last time I showed it I was wearing like a the only bra that was clean was a super push-up so it didn't fit the way I would have liked it to this is me wearing my normal bra and um, obviously it's just roomy it was over it's kind of more drapey and yeah I really like this um, the hat is really cool which I didn't bring over love and I are fighting over who gets to keep this hat because I feel super cool. That might be my thumbnail. Ooh, don't pull all the hair back. But yeah, again, I like a good trucker back cap. Uh, there's not much more to say about that. I don't think I have the dad cap option. If you guys want the dad cap, or there's something that's not in the, uh, was it, spreadshirt? I don't know what the website thing is. I'm still new to this. If there's something that you would like to see in it, let me know because I can add it. Or I can add it when I create another design because I've got a couple other t-shirt designs in the making. I really thought this was going to be a much longer episode. Yeah. This is a, uh, where's the book? that I read while I hurt my back. All right. Well, the last thing would be that I read uh I read the entire what is it called? I have my phone here. I can check Goodreads. Instead of staring at the window waiting for it to come to me. Also, if you want to be my Goodreads friend, that's down there too. I just read a lot of romance. Read Once Upon a Broken Heart. Um, which is a young adults book and it's it was really good I'm trying to think how to describe it it's a it's kind of like a dark fantasy but it's also young adults so there's nothing saucy nothing extreme I'd read the synopsis but I don't know where I put the book and as somebody who's been reading so many romances I cannot express how angry I was realizing it was a cliffhanger at the end and uh, the next book doesn't come out till September. So that's pre-ordered now, but I read it all in one day, if that tells you guys anything, because I was sitting and I couldn't do anything, because that's how bad I hurt my back. And this is the book that I, let me get on this. This is why I don't buy anything white. Oh, what is this? Winter, winter set, winter set hollow. Ooh, don't blow out. And I literally bought this because of the cover because it's super cool looking and Amazon suggested it and apparently my friend read this last month and uh, I did not check I don't check my Goodreads friends what they're reading so yeah uh, apparently I'm going to like it but I haven't started it yet I started reading another romance novel instead because I am uh, mad because I want my happy ending. Mm. Okay, last thing would be The Halfway to Haunts, which I still don't have a date for. When do you guys want to start that? Sooner? Later? I think I need to do like some pattern, like I gotta do like some eye twitch, some prep work for it, putting together some pattern ideas or project ideas. Let me know down below what you guys, when you guys think that should start. And, um, there's birds fighting. We are at the end of this episode for this week. I'm gonna try and vlog this weekend. I say that and we inevitably know that I probably won't because I've said that I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> that being said, if you've reached to the very end, let me know what your favorite childhood Halloween costume was. And if you haven't, make sure you are subscribed, you like, and you hit the notification bell because, guys, I, I have no way else to know who likes what and what to do. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I swear to all of the universe, if it is another bi-weekly episode, I'm just, I'll just eat a sock or something. 
I just, I can't. <laughs> so until next time, stay spooky. Bye-bye.